So guys, this is my open app installation. So over here, I'll get into Pepper UI and we'll install the required add-ons. So get into add-ons. First of all, we'll be installing the MQTT binding for open app. So I'll be installing the MQTT binding version 2. So if you have enabled legacy add-on services and all, you'll also uh, you know find MQTT binding version 1. So make sure you install or the version 2 of it. Along with that, I'll also install JSON path transformations add-on. So I'll just go over here. This is the JSON path transformation. So this will enable us to pass the JSON string that we are getting from the module. So uh, then we'll be you know able to pass this individual parameters out of it. So yeah, we have installed that both the add-ons that is required. Now get into inbox, click on plus, MQTT binding, manual add thing. First thing we'll be doing is connecting to the MQTT broker. So for that, we'll create a MQTT broker thing and all. It requires the IP address of the broker. Then we need the username and password. We don't need to configure anything else. Just click on. Again, if you are using TLS and SSL, that if it is that is available in your broker and all, you need to configure accordingly. Now, after this, we need to create a thing for our energy meter. So to do that again, I'll get into this create a generic MQTT thing then select the bridge then we don't need to configure anything just click on plus so for this I'll just keep a name energy meter or PZDM energy meter yep the thing is created and is online now we need to create the channels so we'll be creating four channels like over here for power voltage current and energy so i'll just copy this topic and i'll create a channel of type number so again i uh, you know as far as all are particularly numbers so we'll create all the channels as number but if you are getting something else, you need to change accordingly. So first is energy. Level is also going to be energy. Then the MQTT state topic where wherein this particular thing will subscribe to this particular topic. Then we also need to define the transformers transform values actually. So for that, I'll just JSON path which is our transformation service that we are using then dollar is the JSON document and power is the key sorry not power over here it is let's check that one yeah energy i don't need to configure anything else so yep save now you can see over here we have got this then you can create another for power So top is is going to be basically same and that similarly we need to define the transformations so again it is going to be json path Now, as channels are created, we need to add items for this. So, yep. So, create a new item. Uh, let it be like this. So, level is energy, category, nothing, type number. So we can define this if it is available. I 
energy we don't need to defend group for time being you can anyway include that if you want similarly for power i'll create a new item let it be like this power and all dimension let's see if we get power yep Now I finally will create a sitemap for this and to do this we just need to get into the OpenApp installation into the uh, you know OpenApp 2 folder and all then inside that we need to create a sitemap so I'll over here create one Energy meter dot sitemap and i'll just copy this one yep Over here we need to define or assign the items that we created earlier so for current this is going to be this let's say third one then energy enter get into sitemaps or oh, sorry basic ui energy meter and you can see all those values appearing over here so basically yep you can compare over here the voltage power energy and current so as we are getting the values over here we can also define the units for them which can be done over here in label we can do something like you know sorry percentage point to f so that will limit decimal points to two and all so basically two digits will be available after the decimal point similarly we can do some same thing for energy What tower? So as let's see if we have got units and all along with the parameters and you can see over here the units have also appeared over here along with the parameters along with those you can also configure icons for individual parameter and also you can use something like persistence provider to store this value over time for that you can use influx DV or any other such you know database that is being supported by OpenHive. Along with that, also you can use Grafana to create nice charts along these parameters and all. So I'm not going to cover those in this video. We can certainly check that out in any upcoming. So that's pretty much all about it, guys. You can also do same without going through the paper way method by using text files so you can certainly create items and all using their respective files in open have and i have detailed the steps to do so in my github repository you can pretty much go through that and you'd be able to create the same thing by using text files and all without going through the paper ui method so that's pretty much all about it guys i hope you have enjoyed it if so hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet consider subscribing it for videos like this so see you next time with our next video till then goodbye